Hi everyone, thanks for dropping off here. Um, I promised you to create a video regarding the stats, the gear stats. We had a lot of confusion regarding this and I would like to bring some light into that topic. Okay, so let's start with the helms, the helmet. Um, we have three stats here, debuff resistance, revenge mode duration and exhaustion recovery. The debuff resistance actually doesn't give you any resistance directly to a debuff like uh, the Noboshi is attacking you with this, you know, tex toxic attack or something. I don't, I don't know how it's called, but uh, you will not resist that. You will just gain less amount of damage. It's actually a damage reduction for kind of attacks like that. These you know toxic attacks and bleedings and so on this is the debuff resistance the revenge mode duration is the duration of your revenge mode i think that's clear yeah exhaustion recovery that's maybe important because some people really thought it's um about the stamina gain you have if your stamina is uh you know at 50 percent or so on that's not true. The exhaustion recovery is actually uh, the recovery time um, in the exhaustion mode. So if your stamina is depleted completely, you will be exhausted. And in this exha ex exhaustion mode, um, it will take amount of time until recovery. And that's what this step is for. Okay, so um, let's talk about the chests. We have execution health regen block damage and sprint speed execution health regen it's clear i guess it's the amount of um health points you will get after executing an enemy um the block damage this is really interesting and and uh, really important yeah it's the amount of damage this is offensive skill uh, stat this is offensive stat this is the amount of damage you will do to the enemy if you attack him with heavy attack, so if you do, if you perform a heavy attack and the enemy will block this, you will still do a a bit damage. It's not a lot, but you will do still a bit damage, which goes through the block. Okay, and um, this damage could be enough to kill the enemy if the enemy have just you know few health points left. The sprint speed, this is clear. It's just the sprint speed so for the arms we have three stats again so for each gear we have three stats uh, gear part so block damage resistance revive speed stamina regen um the block damage resistance is actually the um defensive stat for the block damage we had here on the on the chest yeah the block damage is here and this is the defensive one um if you have block damage resistance, you will resist the damage which could go through your armor. If if the enemy has more block damage than than your resistance is, you will get this amount of damage through your block. Okay, so um, that's just for heavy heavy attacks. If you block a heavy attack, you will gain less damage with block damage resistance. Revive speed, it's clear. Reviving your mates um, will take some time. The revive speed can speed it up. The stamina regeneration, and that's what I, I was talking about here. Yeah, the exhaustion recovery, it has nothing to do with the exhaustion. This is the stamina regeneration. The stamina regeneration means that if you are on 20% or 10% or 5% of stamina, this is the amount of time you will it will take until your stamina is um, again on 100%, so it's full again, yeah? Um, if you have a lot of stamina regen, obviously it will fill up much faster. The weapons are divided in three parts. Let's begin with the blade. The blade have the stats attack, defense, stamina, cost reduction. The attack is the amount of damage you will do on light attacks and heavy attacks um yeah that's it so for the defense this is this has nothing to do with the block 
most people thought it's just you know blocking and and so on it has nothing to do with that the defense is the direct damage reduction uh if you get a direct hit from the enemy without blocking without parrying so if the enemy really hits you with a light attack or or a heavy attack uh the defense is the damage reduction for that you will just get less damage Stamina cost reduction is the amount of stamina your skills, your 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 uh, your attacks will cost. Okay, let's jump to the hilt. We have feet cooldown reduction, revenge mode defense, and revenge gain by defense. So the feet cooldown reduction is just the time your skills, your feet will take until it's available, back available. Yeah. The revenge mode defense is the amount of defense you have if when you enter the revenge mode. Like you have a yellow bar and yeah, that that's it. Yeah, it will you will have just more defense if you enter the revenge mode. The revenge gain by defense is with any block or a successful block and successful parry you will gain a lot of revenge points and if you if you have this stat uh, like filled up like you see here in my uh, equipment you will gain a lot of revenge uh, with any block or parry so for the guard uh, we have throw distance we have revenge mode attack and the revenge gain by injury the throw distance is not the distance you will throw back your enemy if you perform a, a guard break and you know throw him back then that's that's not the case the throw distance is how much the distance will be if you successfully perform a parry because with any parry you will push back your enemy and that's actually the distance you can uh, you can increase with this throw distance stat the revenge mode attack is the amount of damage you do with your light and heavy attacks when you enter the revenge mode and the revenge gain by injury is the amount of yeah revenge point um, to fill up your revenge uh, bar when you get a direct hit or on injury that's it i think if you know the stats you can build a lot of interesting builds for for your playstyle, for your character, for your hero actually. Yeah, so that's that's a great thing uh, Ubisoft added here with the with the stats on the armor. You will have more opportunities to play your your character. So guys, thank you for dropping in here. Thanks for watching and I would appreciate it if you leave a follow here or um, a follow on our Twitch channel. I would like to see you on Twitch. Brofist, see you guys. Bye-bye.